Is this where he has to sign a waiver that if it blows up, it's not your fault, Rich? Listen that baby. Oh. Holy oh, This is my buddy Fred. He likes to go fast in his 1991 Mitsubishi Eclipse. Oh. About a year ago now, Fred ran a best of a 9.0 at 157 miles an hour. But if you own an Eclipse and you're trying to go fast, you know that you're gonna have to change the head gasket sooner or later. The tuner will walk by, he won't tell nobody. He just walks up and goes like this. And then you look up and he goes, we're done, we're done, we're done. So after a little bit of downtime, Fred got a hold of Rich the Tuner. Hall Tech Specialist, AEM Tuner, all around, nice Jamaican guy. So we ran down to Homestead to track out performance to get on the Hub Dyno and see what she could do. What up? What's well, hiding over here? What's this what's this thing hiding over here in the corner? Nope. Black tire in the dark. Yeah. With a lot of dirty fingerprints. I should at least cleaned it. Should have gave it a little wax, man. Oh no, dog, something. Dang. Oh, this thing looks good though. Let me, let me, let me grab it. I know you Richard. I'm gonna have to wipe this thing off. <laughs> you gotta make it pretty, bro. Let me hold the um, key real quick. I know Ooh. Ooh. Things nice and neat and clean. It's all wheel drive, right? All wheel drive. All wheel drive. I should have known because it's got four slicks. Slicks as well. A little blue bottle. What's that for? <laughs> There's uh, Mr. Tuner. Puff works. We're going to make some jam tonight. That's the plan. Late night dyno action. Polish her up. You know what I'm saying? A little something, something. <laughs> Just a quick wipe down. She fresh out the shop, so you know she'll look dirty right now, but it ain't nothing, though. Here's the thing I say. The paint might not look good when you're standing next to it, but when it goes to the traps at you 160, know, it's, it's you can't tell. It. <laughs> it's dust on this thing. Oh, look, yeah, yeah. Literally. Taking pride in his machine here. So talk to me. What, what have you done since the last time we saw this thing run a 9-1? Nine, nine yeah, 9-0. Nine, oh, um, so we are... 9-1 okay. or 9-0? Nine, 9-0. Oh. Nine, oh. Oh, it ran a 9 -0. Okay. Yeah, so we upgraded the fuel system. Um, fuel system, okay. 600cc injectors. Uh, recently, uh, got the cylinder head redone. I uh, redid the head? Uh, yeah, by Darren Thomas. What's the what head gasket? What, what are you running? It's a stock MLS head gasket. Oh, nice. Mitsubishi? Yep. Ooh, stock you hear that, kids? Stock Mitsubishi head gasket. Hey, Fred. Yep. Did you deck the block like I told you two, six months ago? Of course. <laughs> I don't believe you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she checked that flat. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll see. What are we tuning with? This uh, this doesn't look like a hall tech. Why are you wearing a hall tech hat? That's my first logo. <laughs> oh, we're doing, what uh, do we got? Uh, AM? AM series two. Series two. Okay. Yeah. You know, it shifts the it shifts the transmission from the ECU. So. Oh, so it's an auto. It is an auto. Ooh. Yeah. So are you just doing a couple of pre checks before we hook up on the on the hubs? Yep. Gotta check them out. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the camera off the screen because I know you're too secretive to show anything. So let me go get a different angle. What we got going on over here, Fred? Get ready to go. Um, Get the timing set. Oh, okay, so ignition timing check. Yep, yep we set ignition timing. And, um, we're going from there, set TPS. Look at the side of that freaking turbo, bro. Jesus, what is that? It's a little baby. Actually, it's just a 67. Uh, that's a 67? Yeah, why does it look so big? You know how Borg does their um, house. Oh, that's a Borg, that's why, okay. He left the screen open. Ooh, secrets. All the secrets. Ooh. Let's take a look on this side. 
What kind of power are we trying to make through the auto today? I don't know. We'll be happy around six, seven hundred, somewhere between that. But we get between, more than that. between six and seven. Yeah, through the auto, that should that should make some pretty decent film in the track. Nice. Um, How much was it making when you ran the nine L? Well, no. It, it should be up there. I mean, running those numbers, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. With the weight of the car, you know, somewhere seven, eight hundred should be happy. All right, between six or seven or seven or eight, we're. That's a 200 horsepower gap there, my man. <laughs> I guess the real question should be, is that nitrous bottle for spooling or for power? Just for spooling? Why is a hub dyno better than what are those other chassis dyno? I personally like it because I don't have to worry about wheel spin for one. Uh, if your engine revs freely, then it has to be a clutch, right? Um, with, with a lot of um, rolling road dynos, the, 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 you could have wheel spin, it could be a clutch, you know, because the engine um, spins freely and you're like, you know, was that a clutch or was it wheel spin? Oh, so, I so, so we won't see anybody sitting in the trunk in this no, in these dyno runs. No, no, <laughs> we definitely won't. And I like the features it have, you know, um, how you can load the engine before the, the, ramp up, the ramping of the engine through the dyno run. Um, you, know, you can set, oh, I wanted to, to release the, the brakes at three points of boost or five points of boost or at 3500 rpm or you know it has a lot of features that that really helps the tuning process um a lot of people don't like it because you know the numbers are different than what they're used to with the dyno jet but it's just a tuning tool for me and um it works yeah we, we use the dyno for a tuning tool that's that's pretty much it after after it's done you know in tune this then we go to the track and pour down the power yeah that's now we got to go all the way to orlando though right oh yeah uh, boost reference for the dyno. Oh, so you can tell how much boost is... Uh... Yeah, it's, I mean, we're going to see it on the data logs, but it's just to confirm both the both on the uh, dyno and also on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the ECU. More data, the better, right? Eh? That's why I say more data, more better. Yo, is that the old, uh, old school AMS intake, Fred? Yeah. Yep. Hey. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, so now he's gonna hook up a little wide band to the dyno. Let's see if we can if we can see how far down. There it is. Oh, it's it's short. It's not even that far back. Eric, just because you can drive it on the street doesn't mean it's a street car, Fred. Street car, street car. <laughs> it's got a tag on it. It's a street car. That's it. Set the drive speed so that the dyno is matched with the car so that we have the same data on the ECU. Okay. So if we go look at 3000 RPMs, we're going to see in the data at 3000 RPMs and we're at the same AFR, the same boost and everything so we know exactly where we're at. And what gear, what gear are we going to do the pulls in? Since this is an automatic car, we're going to do it in second gear. Second gear pulls, all right. Uh, anything special with uh, turning it on or just... How do you turn it on? I just want to make sure I don't want to break anything. Just turn the key? Just turn the key. There's no... There's no, there's no sequences. Switches, yeah. There's taka, no, taka, taka, taka. no turn on the yeah. fuel pump stuff. <laughs> Regular car. Eh? Getting started over here. Well, DJ, look at this DJ over here. He looks like a DJ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's take a 
take a quick peek at the engine while the tuner's doing a little bit of calibration. Look at that turbo. That's a big boy. Let me put my hand in there for so you can see how big that compressor cover is. But it's a board, so they usually make them pretty big. I really like that uh, old school AMS intake manifold. That's when the AMS started on DSMs way, way, way back. Obviously, they're the kings of the GTRs now, but hey, this is their roots DSM. That looks like an Infiniti Q45 throttle body, if I'm not mistaken. And we got the automatic transmission, 1G all-wheel drive. Radiator, kind of small. Small setup, but it does the job. Big fan. I told him to get a giant fan or else he's going to have overheating problems. And sure enough, he listened and he's been running good. Nitrous outlet solenoid. That's to spool up the, the turbo on the auto. There's the man, Puffy. Richard Nicholas making that calibrations. We're going to run all the boost today, right? And some of the nitrous. All the, bo all the boost and all some of the nitrous. All the boost, baby. We got we to gotta have all the boost. That's some of the nitrous. Just a little bit. So that's the horsepower with like baby boost. And the owner just gave the tuner the go ahead to turn it up. That's what we came for. What kind of boost we running or nobody's going to say. We're going to be all secretive about that. Try to max the turbo, I'll see what the old FMW can do. 40, 50? Yeah, 50 ish. 50 ish, so that means 60, guys. Anybody watching, that means about 60. Because yeah. uh, Jamaican people lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stand back here so I don't lose my hearing. Straight pipe. Street car, taillights work. Street car, <laughs> it's a street car because the taillights work. <laughs> I thought you said you're gonna turn it up. Let's go, let's go. How are those numbers looking, boys? Looking good, all right. Time to turn it up. I said it sounded good. Tune is going in the right direction. Everything's looking good. It's auto. I know it's auto, so that's why I said if it hits 800 on an auto, that's real shit. How's that looking? Looks good. Head still, still bolted down? That's a test. That's a tuner it's, it's, it's test. It's the DSM test. The DSM really? test. The <laughs> tuner. Really good. The, du really the, good. the tuner will walk by. He won't tell nobody. He just walks up and goes like this. And then you look up and he goes, we're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> That sounded like it started breaking up. Yeah. Breaking up right away. What's the gap on the plugs? Uh, 16. 16? Alright, new plugs, new plugs. Let's see how these plugs are looking. Usually carry two sets of plugs to the dyno, so we I have backups for the backups. What you got there? What you got there? Ah, very nice. I remember who somebody gave that to you a long time ago. Yeah. Yee my good friend. Me, me, it was me. I, I did. It has, has the same name as me. And this is the first time I ever see you use them. <laughs> Alright, so it threads in. Uh-huh. Supposedly. Okay, there it goes. Oh, he got real tools. Instead of ramming on the concrete. And now <laughs> thread it down. And so it's the gap. That's how I do it. Richard, what you got it down to? You say 10, right? Yeah, um, I'll tell you off camera. He doesn't want. He doesn't like nobody to know nothing. He thinks everybody's gonna steal his his secrets. I'll tell you off camera. 30, 40, 50. <laughs> like normally, I cap them at like thirty five for yeah. like for like big boosts. Especially when you're a nitrous, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then when, when I'm running turbo, it carts, carts up to like fifty. Yeah. <laughs> On stock ignition coils, right? Has to be stock from the nineties. Aftermarket won't work. So were they too open for your liking? Yeah, they were tight, but it could be tighter. What's the deal with iridium? Better? I Noticeable? Mean, I don't particularly like them, but... People like to spend the money for no, for no reason? But I mean... Rich, you, you don't use iridium? 
Regular, VR. Regular, bro. NGK. But I don't, I don't make, I don't make 800 horsepower, so I don't know. Me neither. <laughs> Allegedly. The super secret spark plug gap has been attained, and now we're ready for a pull. <laughs> out pretty good let's look at the secret laptop the secret laptop Ooh. 55 55 is this where he has to sign a waiver that if it blows up it's not your fault rich if you turn it up anymore <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say? More boost? More boost. More boost yeah. it is! It's not eagle rods in there, right? No. <laughs> we don't want to see the eagles fly tonight. Inject your duties up to 94 percent. Well, I'm, I'm more concerned about the, the wastegate duty. It, it went up 10 from the last pull, and the boost hasn't moved. So you're trying to turn up the boost, and it's not the turbo is just not re responding. Right. Maybe it didn't go any higher. When it's coming up, it made more boost coming up at some point. Get me? Mm -hmm. But when I think it settled at a higher RPM, even though the duty is higher, it didn't make any more boost. Look at this dyno service. Look at this. Full service dyno shop. Spraying down the intercooler in between runs. You deserve a, a strong tip, sir. <laughs> Tuner's getting brave. You signed the waiver, right, Fred? Yep. That's when you pull up. That's when you sign the waiver. There you go. As soon as you pull up. Everybody, ready. One more. One more. One more. The last one. Famous last words. Yeah. Rich, how did, how did the tune go? It went, it went well. Um, the tune of that was in it before, it went 9 0. And uh, I'm pretty sure, as is, even though he's going to change the turbo, I'm pretty sure, as is, we should be able to do that at high eight. So, everything looks good. Did you, did you back down the boost on the last run? The turbo did. Oh, the turbo back down the boost, because yeah. I saw it was lower on the last run than the run before, but you made more power on the last run. Yeah. What, did you lean it out a bit? A little bit. Oh, okay. That's some stuff. Some uh, tricks. Yeah, that's not, that's some not Some tricks of the camera. trade. But, All right, cool. And, and I mean, it, it will be running more power at a track, too. You know, this is just to make sure everything is okay. You know, about the engine, everything the feeling is okay, the timer is okay. It makes no sense to lean on it on the dyno, the loot at the track where, where you know, we have something to show. 
Well, the final numbers are 659 horsepower, 511 foot-pounds of torque. It's worth noting that Fred actually ran the 9.0 with less power than he just made. So even though he wants to change to a bigger turbo, I'm pretty confident he could dip into the high eight second quarter mile with what they just accomplished on the dyno. So we'll see. I'll bring you another video as soon as we get to the track. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe and share the video. Appreciate everybody watching. Have a good one.